what's up guys, David are 1, 2, and 2, and it's List Day. Ah yes, List Day, today we're going to be looking at the top 5 cards you wouldn't invite to your Thanksgiving dinner. Here in the United States, we have a little holiday called Thanksgiving. Every third Thursday of November, we all get together, have a bunch of turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and all the fixings and all that hooey, and celebrate the things that we are thankful for, for the year. That's all it's about, don't look into it too much. As with every large family gathering, however, there is all always those members of your family you would really just rather did not come to dinner. And these five cards are, they are decidedly the cards you would not want to come to Thanksgiving. So without further ado, let's get started. Number five, Tour Guide from the Underworld. Tour Guide from the Underworld, or Dante's side piece, is certainly not the person you would want to invite to dinner. There's nothing like trying to enjoy a family dinner with the, the, the marriage that you're trying to patch back together, and then the home wrecker shows up. Knock, knock, Dante. Dante, are you home? Dante, answer me. Are you in there with that wife of yours? She might be reliable, but Tour Guide is most certainly not the one you went to hell and back for. Come on, King. Be better than that. <laughs> I'm not cosplaying as this thing when I hit 50k. I swear to God I'm not doing that. <laughs> don't, don't even, don't even joke. And number four are any of the kaijus. The problem with the kaiju are, they are just that relative that you just shows up and makes a mess of things and absolutely ruins all of dinner. You would never invite them. However, because they're kaijus, they just kind of show up at your dinner. You didn't invite them. You don't even know why they're here, but they just absolutely <laughs> made a mess anyway. They just come knocking at that door. Or the other angle you could look at is they're giant monsters and they're just gonna trample your house. I don't, th I don't think King Ghidorah is particularly polite uh, of a dinner guest. It's incredibly disrespectful. And if you have waterfront property, they're not just gonna start trampling your house. They're also gonna get effects. <laughs> and that's, it doesn't happen often, but it, it does happen. And, and if they do, you better watch out. Number three is gonna be Exodia the Forbidden One. Exodia is like that drunk relative that just, you know, he's always trying to pull himself together and when he finally does, he just absolutely obliterates your bathroom and your party and everything in between. You think you're gonna have a nice, wonderful dinner and he shows up on the door, drunk as a skunk, and it's not like you can ask him to leave, he's already won. Unless, of course, you've also invited Weevil Underwood, in which case, I think he's the only person qualified to actually kick Exodia out of the house. And stop talking about your third leg! <laughs> this video's stupid. Number two is the tribe infecting virus. This is another one of those guests that you certainly would never invite, but uh, might just kind of show up anyway, hitching a ride on someone else. Worst part about it is your uncle's completely convinced that this card doesn't exist. More than 10 people. Don't mind if I do. But trust me, it's been unbanned. <laughs> And the number one card you would not invite to a Thanksgiving feast is mild turkey. You might hope the main course of your dinner is certainly mild turkey, but you most certainly also would not invite mild turkey the card. Because basically this would be akin to inviting someone over and then asking them to commit an act of cannibalism, in which is uh, probably rude. Wow, thanks Dante for inviting me. You have such a beautiful house. Oh my god, is that my cousin Jimmy? Oh god, why? It's never happened to me, um, but like maybe if Ryan was like, hey Dave, you want to come over and eat somebody? I'd, I'd probably, um, I guess I'd say no. I'd have a lot of follow-up questions, of course, but um, no, yeah, it'd definitely be a hard no. It's, it's a hard no. Like Ryan works in IT, like where, where, where would he even have access to this kind of thing? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little list. I gotta go drive to see my family and stuff, so I don't have a ton of time to edit this week, but I figured I would do a short, quick, fun video for you guys that'll just go up on, on Thanksgiving itself so that you guys have something to watch while you're trying to avoid all of those family members you actually forgot even existed. 
Have a safe, wonderful Thanksgiving. Try to keep the party sizes to a minimum. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, I'll see you guys next time. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Well, 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 look who's back. Be sure to subscribe to the channel this time. Or I will use my Millennium Rod and do devious, devious things to you. Evil things. Also, by the way, Bakora never did ever get that milk. I did get the bloody milk. No, you didn't. This is oat milk. It's not real milk. It needs to come from a cow. How do you milk an oat?